Is this video for sailing and entertainment purposes only? You're dang skippy it is. What advice would you give Amber's future girlfriend? Find someone else. No one cares. Yeah, potatoes are fine. Simple. Just don't go there. We interrupt this program for a special announcement. Uh, why are you? Oh, uh, that's a nice mood. Please subscribe or run away scared, whatever. It, did you lie about the person you're with and say it's been two different people and it's not? I didn't lie. I didn't lie. I didn't lie. I didn't lie. And this is a surprise. You're obsessed with Karina Kaboom. What's wrong with Karina Kaboom? She's a nice lady. You're kidding. They had to hide a horsey toy from me. <laughs> Gorly pop. Gorl. I bet you're a lot of fun at parties. Cause you're alone. Don't be throwing nuts at me. I know what you're thinking. Who? Hey, I got a drumstick. Mm. Can you please give us a quote for YouTube? Are you friends with Anne Boleyn Reed? Hello, my favorite Gorly and Squirrely Pops and Kermit Pops. Anne Boleyn Reed got dumped. Come and show me. Anne Boleyn posted a video called It's Over that her and her girlfriend, uh, broke up do you think it was mutual By the way if you're looking for proof that they did not break up here's a screenshot at 30 seconds in at the very beginning of the video 30 seconds in Anne Boleyn says me and my points to someone and looks towards someone and you could see the screenshot I took there's a little bit of hint of hope and validation in her eyes you see how she's like upset 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 throughout the whole video but when she points to someone and she looks away there's like uh like that little glimmer in her eye like things may still be okay we've got this we're gonna you know deceive them right okay so in this moment at 30 seconds in she says me and my now ex-girlfriend and points to her uh, who are you pointing to? I thought you said your girlfriend already left and you were alone and you guys broke up. If you're looking for proof, she always gives herself away. I'm reminded of a sonnet by Anne Boleyn Shakespeare. There's an older live stream when she's like doing her makeup and she was with Wifey and she keeps saying that she's alone in the house, but she keeps looking at Wifey and laughing and giggling with her. She does this a lot throughout the Wifey era. People do not change. She's not changing. And there's very strong evidence for the idea that she and uh, her girlfriend did not break up and are just pretending to because they know that that's what the audience wants. So just keep that in mind. Who are you pointing to if you're alone? Why is there a little glimmer of hope in your eye? And who are you looking at if you guys broke up? All you want to do is train me. You make me so tired and you drain me. I'm so broken and lonely. I'd do anything. Uh, you know what's more interesting that Amberlynn Reed's fake breakup is my Kermit going to the store. Yeah, Kermit thought that maybe he could shop to make Anne Boleyn feel better, but then he realized that Anne Boleyn blamed her audience for ruining her life. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Girl, you wish. <laughs> Get a Kermit and quiet down. Okay, so yeah, my Kermit went to the store. Anne Boleyn had a fake breakup. You know, uh, someone in my comment section just said to me that the video that I posted yesterday was pretty much supernatural because I literally said she was going to definitely break up with this girl. And an hour later, she posted a video saying that she broke up with this girl. So what can I tell you? I love it when magic gets involved. Get your own channel, magic. Oh, hey, look, maybe Kermit can help Anne Boleyn. Uh, you know, Amber, he's going to buy you some uh, toiletries now that you're on the lookout for a new girl. So does anyone actually believe this breakup? There's th three things that are possibilities. We're going to look at our video, okay? Number one, number one. She's faking the breakup. She's going to say in a few weeks or a month, she's talking to somebody new. She has a new girlfriend. It's still going to be, you know, this, this girlfriend, this, uh, <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry. This is too ridiculous. So one option is she's lying that she broke up with her. She did the same thing with, um, ex-wifey when she doxed her and everybody, you know, went to go and look her up after, you know, Emberlyn gave out the name of her ex-wifey. So yeah, look at my Kermit just relaxing. He doesn't have time for this. <laughs> uh, basically, she's going to pretend three things are going to happen. Number one, it's a possibility. Number one, it's a possibility they didn't break up. She's just going to tell you that they broke up and in a week or a month say, oh yeah, you know, I broke up with her and you know, I have this new other girlfriend and never show you that she's with this woman, move in with this woman. Then people are going to take pictures like they do of ex-wifey just, uh, you know. Other possibility is she really did break up. Well, she's sorry. She 
she really did get dumped. She is so angry at her audience. That's the real Anne Boleyn, by the way. That's the girl that she is constantly hiding. You know how I always tell you that, uh, you know, she's not the real her, the real hers during the lives? You see how enraged, how much... Did I not tell you in my video? I predicted this whole thing an hour before it happened. I said, she's so angry right now. She's raging. And then she posted the anger and the rage. The anger and the rage does look real, but that doesn't mean that she's not faking the breakup. So could she obviously could possibly be that she got dumped or what's behind door number Kermit they're like on a little break to see once this you know kind of like the hoopla the drama dies down they're gonna get back together it's all right Anne Boleyn keep blaming the people that are paying your bills you know honey one day you're gonna get 10,000 views and no Kermit okay we're gonna get into all the drama also <laughs> foodie beauty has something to say about this grab your kermits everybody by the way you see this nice kermit have you ever thought to yourself i need to have a kermit that takes me to the store i want to buy my own kermit here's a little affiliate view products tab pop-up thing that could pop up and um you know you could buy your own kermits my affiliate link Rinse, lather, delulu. As always, everything I'm saying is just for entertainment purposes only. Nothing is meant to be taken seriously i'm sharing opinions not facts and publicly accessible information made public and Boleyn by public figures and other people first publicly. Please don't go to these people's channels and leave the mean spirit and negative discouraging disparaging comments. Please don't bother them. All right. So we're going to look at Anne Boleyn's video. It's over. We broke up. And all I have to show for it is just a 16 second clip on TikTok. We loved, we lost, we could have used the hand. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at her video as far as if it's true, based on what she's saying, if it's true that they broke up and just as is and giving a reaction as is. Okay, so she starts off by saying that no one knows the real story. And if people knew the real tea, if people knew the real story, they would like, understand that it's not what people think but she will never ever ever say anything <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i got a drumstick let me get this straight your partner and the person that she used to be with have information on the internet that they posted right like it wasn't posted by hater nation it wasn't posted by you it wasn't made up by other people this is public information that they posted and we don't know the real story it doesn't matter what her excuses are or whatever she told you or whatever you think we're gonna believe you on because we're gonna believe you on nothing the reality is there the pictures are there the proof by the way is linked in my description box the pictures are there okay pictures are there proof is there the written word of you know the people involved is there so we don't need to know the full story people's motivations it doesn't matter you said there were no red flags and this is red flags are us the final frontier captain picard uh is gonna take you there it's easy what are you talking about this is like this is like star trek the next generation of red flags what are you talking about and by the way i just like to remind you besides the obvious that Anne Boleyn Amberlynn lies, and she did the same exact thing when she was exposed after she doxed wifey. So she had a girlfriend wifey. She gave out girlfriend's first name, last name, where the woman lived. Then people said, this woman's name is this. And she looked straight in the camera in a live stream and said, we broke up. We're not, we're not together anymore. I'm now dating somebody local. And then she looked straight into the camera and said, that woman's name is not that. And she recently admitted, it's in my intro, that it was the same woman. Amber, do you think that it's possible that it could be you and not the audience or anyone else? You are the only person that I know that has had two different breakups with two different people in two different months, one after the other. I know people will say the Valentine is fake, but two breakups in two months. Do you think it could be you? Amberlynn will look you straight into the eyes. She will look straight into the camera. Not often, but she did it in this one and she did it before and just make up a blatant lie. And here's why. Because she doesn't care about her audience. She thinks that she's saving herself. But in the immortal words of Eric, No one cares! No one cares, okay? Also, and here's the last thing I'll say on this topic. Anne Boleyn, you say that if we knew the full story, we would, you know, totally change our minds and we would understand that we're wrong and all this other stuff. That's fabulous, honey. Why don't you tell us the full story? Think about it. 
If there was something that you could say that could absolve a scandal, that could let people know that they were wrong and they misjudged the situation, wouldn't you save your partner? And here, here we go. Here's how you know that Amba is lying when she says this. Her partner, she claims, is in not a good mental state, in a very bad mental state, and Amber Lynn's not doing well herself, she says. Wouldn't you tell the truth and save your partner from a terrible mental state if the internet got it wrong? Go ahead, Amber. Save your partner. The reason that she says, I will never say it, it's called manipulation. It's gaslighting 101, making the audience question their sanity. What she's hoping for is that a certain percentage of people, I say this all the time, she knows she's not going to get all the people all the time. She's going to get a percentage of people and she's going to leave thoughts into your mind like this. Oh, m maybe there is something we don't know. Oh, like, oh, m maybe it was exaggerated. Maybe I know what you're doing. It's like breadcrumbing, gaslighting BS. It's not going to work on me. It's not working on your audience. I don't care what her reasoning is or what she told you. Obviously, you claim there was no red flags, and obviously, there is no excuse. This is manipulation. She wants you to question your sanity, which is a gaslighting technique, about what you know to be true in the situation. No one cares about the details. People have seen it for what it is. I've said this before, and now is a great time to say it. Race ipsa locutor. It is Latin for, it speaks for itself. Like the situation speaks for itself. We don't need the details. And Boleyn, if you could absolve it, why haven't you? If you have the proof, honey, that this is all BS, tell us. She has nothing except the lies. She says that people want to see her miserable, which I disagree with. I will say this, uh, a, a portion of people enjoy discussing her BS, her lies, take responsibility for that, and a portion of people definitely are not her fans. But if people actually, this is just a common sense thing, if people wanted to see you miserable, they wouldn't have said a word for the next two years, and then this would have been dropped on the internet in two years, or they would have just let you be with this person. Uh, people only spoke out for two reasons, because I saw a lot of people in my comments genuinely concerned, and I'll be honest, there's a bunch of people that are not concerned, and they just talked about it for the drama. To be continued. Of course, but if people really didn't care about you, they wouldn't have said anything. She says, oh, this always happens to me, if it always happens to you, and this has always happened to you, and she's like, this has nothing to do with me, this has to do with all of you. Rage on, Rage Lynn. The thing is, is that that's the real her. She cannot stand her community so much. She she doesn't like her community, H-A-T-E, her community so much right now because she couldn't get away with it. She BS'd that she met the perfect woman and, <laughs> I mean, did you even do a Google search? So it's not me, it's them. You know what's amazing? Amberlynn has never taken responsibility for a single thing in her life or a single breakup in her life. The thing is, the, she's like, oh, this is why I don't want to put people on the internet with me. Then don't. Then don't. It's too late. You started your channel where you were putting side characters and you cannot carry a channel by yourself. I know you think you can, but you cannot. For example, you haven't gotten these type of views and this type of interest from the internet in years because the reality is you cannot carry a channel by yourself. You need scandal and drama. Blame yourself and blame your girlfriend. It is wild to me that she is blaming the audience as always, but not blaming the girlfriend. Blame the person involved. While this thing is she's upset people are monetizing the videos, uh, she basically says this is all for people making money. Uh, I will say this. You monetized... Destiny's mother's miscarriage. You monet and no one ever talks about that. Terrible to Destiny's mother, okay? And I don't mean like the stuff that Destiny talked about, which is enough, but that's not the point. You monetized Beck's renal failure incoherency while driving you around. Where was your okay sympathy for Beck's your ex's ex's partner? mental health when they were in renal failure you were forcing them to drive you around and you know she wants sympathy for a person's mental health when it's that person's responsibility to take care of their mental health but since you want sympathy where was yours public figure when your ex destiny had a problem right when you were living under her mother's roof when were where was your sympathy to uh beck's mom 
after cancer surgery, when you incessantly left her voicemails that uh, pretty much like were really terrible to her. If you guys didn't know, this is probably around the time that her and Becky made the video sobbing on camera and then released the GoFundMe in question. The thing I wanna do since you just got out of surgery, I don't wanna cause any more stress onto you, onto Becky, onto anyone in your family, onto myself because that's just not going to fix anything. This I'm, is just, it's not the time, Amberlynn. It's definitely not the time. Just tired of the added drama onto my YouTube and tired of the added drama onto my YouTube and... This woman is recovering from surgery. Do you think that she really cares about your YouTube channel? I have asked how you're doing. I have been there in that sense. And, you know, we don't have to really go down the line of, oh, you didn't message me, you didn't message me, because I can say the same about you, where not once have you thanked me personally okay, for the like, money I was going to give you, only okay, for the like, money I was going to give you. Did you guys hear that? She said the money that I was going to give you she totally trashed Beck's mom right after surgery. So my point is, whenever she doesn't like what's being said, she's angry that people are making money. Why are you making money? Her excuse is, this is my stuff, I can make money on it. You're a public figure. You are sharing this publicly as a public figure. People are allowed to talk about it. Don't talk about it first. Don't put it on the internet. No one will talk about it. If you can make money, others can as well. She says that they broke up. That's code for she was dumped. But, alas. There is no way that Anne Boleyn dumped this person. She wouldn't dump this person if this person trashed her mom. Of course, this person didn't. But I'm just saying there is nothing that any partner could do to Anne Boleyn for her to, you know, dump them. No. She was dumped by this woman. And she says that this woman's mental health is pretty much in dire straits and they broke up and she's now her ex. We interrupt this program for a special announcement. Woo! Who? I just wanted to say, she clearly blames her audience. She says that, you know, you're ruining my happiness. The people that claim to care about me do not. Yes, there's some people that care about me, but you all don't care about me. You ruined my life. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. You're ruining my happiness. I was so happy and I was so in love, she says. And that's why I posted that 16 second thing. We were so happy. We were so in love. Say womp womp. First things first, you guys were not in love. It is impossible to be in love with someone that you've never met. And no, you cannot fall in love in four days. And even if you believed, even if you believed, you don't even know her. You knew nothing about her past. You didn't even Google her. How desperate. Okay. Even if these two people, individuals, believe that they were in love, I will give them the benefit of the doubt and pretend. Pre Anne Boleyn only loves herself. But anyways, let's just pretend that they both truly felt that they were in love. I can prove to you right now that this woman is not in love with you. Been holding you. In my opinion, I'm a hundred on this. If she was truly in love with you, she would never break up with you. So what that the internet exposed her? for the public stuff that she posted. So what? If she really wanted to be with you, Amba, she would never end the relationship. And there is where you can't fight it. See, when someone truly loves you, now, I've said this before, this is some tough love here, okay? Uh, with the exceptions of obviously illness and people passing on and certain situations with work, I understand those situations. But in general, when somebody leaves you, they don't love you enough. And I know I've said that before, and that's going to ruffle some feathers. But just like I say, have some self-respect, have some worth, respect yourself enough to walk away from a situation that isn't serving you. You know when something isn't right. It's just so much more peaceful without drama in your life. Right. Stop making me laugh. Anne Boleyn, this person is not right for you. You knew about it and ignored it. Yes, people are worried for you. Yes, a lot of your audience dislikes you, but they don't want to see you hurt. And they clearly do not want to see you uh, leave this planet earlier than intended, which you in danger, girl. Okay, you in danger. My opinion is you were in danger in unsafe situations. And that's what the community believed. I'm like the last person to say that, okay? There's hundreds of 
posts on social media, videos where everyone has the same opinion. Has Anne Boleyn Reed ever thought that when everybody has the same opinion and she has, you know, another opinion that possibly you refuse to see it for what it is? She's desperate for somebody to take her to Target. She's desperate for a caretaker. She doesn't have that opinion of herself that she pretends that she does. So, like, she's desperate for anyone. Okay. I don't believe that she loves you because if she, she doesn't even know you, you don't know each other. You're strangers on the internet. Every single thing that she was telling you that you were telling us, I've heard this already on the internet. And I heard her say very nice, amazing, wonderful things about her ex. And now she's saying similar, the same things to you. Do you not think that that's a red flag? Let me tell you something. And this is advice for all my Kermits out there. Everlyn did not shower. If you meet someone and if they're saying the same BS to you, they're just, it's a load of Kermit BS. It's just a line. They're just serving you lines to get what they want. Okay. Uh, basically, no, I don't believe that she loved you. If she loves you enough, if she cared enough about you, if this relationship was more important to her than the internet and what straight, here's a better question. Why does she care what strangers think about her? You know, here's a question to Amberlynn Reads in a circle. Why did people post publicly on specific certain websites. We're not going to talk about what kind of websites they are. Everything that was exposed was posted publicly. Why did you post pictures and what kind of relationship you were involved in when it was an F-E-E-D-E? -E -E, you get my point. Why are you now suffering with your mental health? I thought that this was totally cool. This was totally fine. She posted it publicly. Y'all posted it publicly uh, for a while, right? So what's the problem? Also, Amberlynn, I still don't have an answer of why in the world do you want to be with somebody that moves on so quickly after a partner's passing? Three months and she's in love with you? By definition alone, it isn't true. She's my opinion, not a fact. This is my opinion, not a fact. In my opinion, she's just telling you what you want to hear. That's number one. Number two. As far as you saying that people have ruined your life and blaming your audience, oh, these people have, uh, you know, ruined my life. And Amber says, oh, I should have known. I should have known that they would do this. She did know that they would do this. Tomorrow. She did know that people would find out exactly who your partner is and if there's any Kermits in the closet, skeletons in the closet, right? So here's the T. She knew this would happen and put that woman in harm's way anyways for the simple fact that she is so desperate to prove to the haters that she's wanted and somebody claimed her. Who cares? Listen, every single person that makes monetized content on this website has a personal life that you know nothing about. Amberlynn. Amberlynn is very, in my opinion, narcissistic and pride. And she has so much pride and she thinks she's better than other people. She thinks she's the most smartest girl in the room, most international woman of mystery. So she's blaming her audience. You ruined my life, she says. You ruined my love life. You ruined this for me. You don't care about me. That's BS, she says. Your audience was worried about you after seeing the relationship that this person was in. And by the way, and this is the most important thing I'm going to say right now. Like Burger King, you can have it your way. Your audience didn't break you guys up. How dare you blame your audience? <laughs> it's your girlfriend's responsibility to take care of her mental health. W what did the audience do except share with each other public posts that, you know, your, you know, your girlfriend and her partner made? I want to know. What exactly is the big deal here as far as it's being your audience's fault? Your audience can never break up a relationship. For example, every single YouTuber who is currently married or in a relationship, how come their audience wasn't able to break up their relationships? Here's my point. And you can, if you don't believe anything I've ever said, this is probably one of the most important things I'm going to say to you. If your partner truly loves you and they know that you are the one, no amount of BS YouTube comments or realistic YouTube comments or quote unquote H-A-T-E online can ever break you two up. And if you don't believe anything I say, believe that. I mean, I know what I'm talking about. No amount of anything can break up a strong bond. Anne Boleyn, you had no foundation in this relationship. You guys knew each other for a month. She was talking to other people before she was talking to you right after her partner's passing. What kind of serious relationship could you possibly go in? By the way, uh, there's something else that Amber didn't say, and I won't mention it, but there's something else about this person that's like a very mundane thing. A lot of people did this in their lives. And uh, Amber Lynn should just not be around uh, certain things, like certain people, certain issues, like 
this woman, it's not just this woman, okay? Like, there's something else. And Anne Boleyn, you conveniently left out uh, the, who you would become if you were going to be in a relationship with this person. Like, please, are you ready for that? Anyways, my point is, how dare you blame the people? Honestly, you deserve my opinion to lose your audience fully. The haters are keeping your bills paid. When the haters stop watching, then what? It's the haters that helped you prolong your life right now. It is so wild to me that she blames her audience for ruining her relationship when no, listen, listen to what I'm going to say. Beware of false prophets that come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ferocious wolves. Why is Amba not blaming her girlfriend for breaking up with her and blaming herself for blasting public videos on on TikTok and Instagram where she has hundreds of thousands of followers for the breakup instead of her audience. Blame yourself. You blamed your audience for ruining your life? Your audience ruined your life? Beware. Beware of false prophets, Anne Boleyn Reed. So my question is, why do you not blame your girlfriend for keeping things from you or for breaking up with you? Like, she's the one that left you because, in my opinion, there's no way that she cares enough about you to stay with you. This is the bottom line. So the internet posted things on the internet that was already posted. Your inner circle, Amberlynn Reed, feels so confident in posting publicly things that now they're embarrassed of and ashamed of. It's the truth. This person posted videos and like just there was like pictures wh which confirmed what everybody was saying well moving on in case anyone is interested in what frenemy fake friend slash supporter foodie beauty had to say about this topic here's what chantal had to say about it i don't see i'm not i'm out of the loop with all what does amber lynn think about that well i guess my opinion is i don't really have one but if i hope she stays safe and i hope it's not true and I hope no Amber Lynn's are harmed during this process. Truly riveting and riveting. You know, if there are any people from other planets, please consider taking me now. I mean, what? Why is it that anyone that masquerades as Amber's friend and these two are not friends? They have had so many fights and arguments. Amber Lynn said that um, Foodie Beauty's ex was entertaining after, you know, he really hurt her. Look, at the end of the day, they trashed each other. They loved. They lost. They were never friends in the first place. Just allies for what? No one cares. Uh, why is it that anyone that masquerades as Amber's friend or pretends to be her friend is like, oh my God, oh my God, it's okay. What does Amber have to say? Who cares what Amber has to say? Amber will date anyone who will date her. And Chantal, if you were her friend, you would just like be like, Amber, you need to dump this person. Anyways, fake breakup, real breakup. Please let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about this? <laughs> please let me know in the comments dislikes and comments down below thank you so very much for watching today i really appreciate your time if you enjoyed today's video please check out this video that's popping up here it's going to be similar to the video that you're watching go and watch that like it dislike it if you dislike it be a friend thanks so much for being here and you know i will see you very very soon in the next one bye